teacher Ven, and welcome to Fastlane Dating Learning Virtual. Our lesson for today is all about theories related to learners development. Are you familiar with the people in the picture? These people have different theories about child development. Child development theories focus on explaining how people grow over the course of childhood. Such theories enter on various aspects of development, including social, emotional, and cognitive growth. We all have personal experience with development, but it is sometimes difficult to understand how and why people grow, learn, and act as they do. Why do children behave in certain ways? Is their behavior related to their age, family relationship, or individual environment? Developmental psychologists strive to answer such questions as well as to understand, explain, and predict behaviors throughout our lifespan. Broad Psychosexual Stages of Development Broad proposed that psychological development in childhood takes place during five psychosexual stages, which is the oral, anal, phallic, latency, and genital stage. Oral stage. The first stage of personality development, the GBDU is centered in baby's mouth. It gets much satisfaction from putting all sorts of things in its mouth to satisfy the libido. The second stage of broad psychosexual tuning is the anal stage. In anal stage, the libido now becomes focused in the anus and the child derives great pleasure from the libido. The child now is fully aware that they are a person in their own right and their wishes can bring them in a monthly mood when they are outside work. This stage can be developed by public training. The third stage is the phallic stage. Rod suggested that during phallic stage, the primary focus of the libido is on the genitals. At this age, children also become to discover the difference between the two sexes, which is with male and female. Latency stage. During latency stage, according to Broad, children spend more time interacting, mostly with same-sex peers. And the last one, the last stage of broad psychosexual children is the genital stage, which is individuals are attracted to opposite sex. This happens via puberty. According to Simon Freud, human personality is complex and has more than a single component. In his famous psychoanalytic theory, Freud states that personality is composed of three elements, known as the id, ego, and superego. These elements work together to create a complex human behavior. Erickson Stages of Psychosocial Development Eric Erickson was a German-American developmental psychologist known for his theory of psychological development of human being. According to Erickson, the personality develops in predetermined order through eight stages of psychosocial development, from infancy to childhood. During each stage, the person experiences a psychological crisis which could have a positive or negative outcome for personality development. For Erickson, these crises are of a psychosocial nature because they involve psychological needs for individual conflicting with the needs of society. Gene Piaget, Four Stages of Cognitive Development Gene Piaget's theory of cognitive development suggested that children move through four different stages of mental development. His theory focuses not only on understanding how children acquire knowledge, but also on understanding the nature of intelligence. Piaget's theory of cognitive development are sensory motor stage, pre-operational stage, concrete operational stage, and the last one is the formal operational stage. Piaget believed that children take an active role in learning process, acting much like little scientists as they perform experiments make observation and learn about the world. As kids interact with the world around, they continually add new knowledge upon existing knowledge and adopt previously held ideas to
to accumulate new information. Both work three levels and six step stages of moral development. According to Goldberg, uh, there are three levels of moral development. The pre-conventional, conventional, and post-conventional. Each level has two distinct stages. During the pre-conventional level, a child's sense of morality is externally controlled. Children accept and believe the rules of authority figures, such as parents and teachers, and they judge an action based on its consequences. During the conventional level, an individual sense of morality is tied to a personal and societal relationship. Children continue to accept the rules of authority figures, but this is how because they believe it is necessary to ensure a positive relationship in societal order. The last one is the most conventional level. A, a person that sense of morality is defined in terms of more abstract principles and values people how they believe that some rules are unjust and should be changed or eliminated. Lev Vygotsky's Zone of Proximal Development Vygotsky's believed that when a student is in zone of proximal development for a particular task, providing an appropriate assistance will give the students enough of the boost to achieve a task. The zone of proximal development is a range of abilities that an individual can perform with assistance but cannot yet perform independently. These skills are called proximal because the individual is close to mastering them but needs more guidance and practice in order to perform this action independently. Yuri Bronfenbrenner's Ecological Systems Theory Bronfenbrenner's believe that a person's development was affected by everything in their surrounding environment. He divided a person's environment into five different levels. The microsystem, the exosystem, the macrosystem, and the chronosystem. Bronfenbrenner's Bioecological System Theory approach helped practitioners to consider these balance of influences which are likely to play a part in the development of any young child. As a future teacher, it's very important to us to have understanding about the child development because by understanding child development, a teacher can make most appropriate decisions possible about expectations for the students, how to best help students engage with the material and how to push students to grow academically, emotionally, and socially.